chances are if you're building a discord bot you're probably going to use an api and so in today's video i'll show you how you can implement an api into your discord bot and just do a lot with it and teach you how you can actually use it so for today's video i'm going to be using rock api developed by kahanis it's an api that gives you rocks it's pretty useful and i think every bot should have it genuinely it's really good and it's just cool it's also fun to play around with but that's all we're gonna be doing we're gonna be using specific libraries meant for actually using apis and tailored to async environments so that our bot doesn't break when we use it for example we're not going to be using requests we're going to be using aio http as that's tailored towards asynchronous environments a discord.py or nextcord or whatever you're using is ran off of an asynchronous environment so without further ado hit the intro okay so here we are here i am in my visual studio code what we're going to do is we're first going to install two libraries now these libraries should already be pre-installed but we're still going to install them or just at least check they're installed just in case so you want to do pip install aio http and this is already installed with nextcore discord.py just make sure you have it and we're also going to do pip install async io like so and i actually did the wrong thing it's called i spelled it wrong my fault but once we have that right here it's installed what we're gonna do is we're gonna import it so we're just gonna do import aio http and import async io so after we have that we're gonna create a command so here at bot dot command async def and we're gonna call this rock and now ctx equals commands dot context and that's all we're gonna be using then inside here we're actually gonna open up a uh, aio http i guess session so we're gonna do async with aio http dot client session and then in here we're not gonna pass it any parameters we're just gonna have it as and we're gonna call it session like so and then inside here we're gonna do async get and then we're gonna do actually not async get async with session dot get and now there is an api that i'm going to be using and it's the rock api by mr connors and what we're going to do is we're just going to pass that in but we can do as response api i'm just going to do as api like so and i'm just going to pass this in for now and so here if you go down into the description or in the comments whichever one if i remember to put it in it should be up on screen right now right here there is this link right here and this is what we're going to be taking advantage of and this is the actual link now if you go to this link right now once again you should see something up on screen it'll give you a json output where it'll have the name the description of the rock an image and a rating we're going to be utilizing the name description and image and we're going to display it in an embed so after we have that we're going to do api equals away or actually not api equals data equals await api.json like so now what we're going to do with this data is we can just actually get the attributes so we're going to do rock name or rock underscore name and that's going to be data name you guessed it and then we're going to do this again and we're going to do this two more times uh data equals description and it's actually called disk like so and then last one we're gonna do is rock underscore img which is data conch and it's image like so so you should have something that looks like this it's pretty simple we have four var three variables actually four if you include data and this is just gonna get all of our attributes or values and now we're gonna create an embed so we're gonna do embed equals next core dot embed and if you're using, I guess, Discord.py, then this changes to Discord. If you're using PyCore, changes to Discord. It's the same thing. But I'm using Nextcore, so like so. 
and then we can do title equals and we can change this to we can set this to whatever i'm just gonna set it to rock underscore name github is lying to me so nice to know that and now here we can have a description so whatever you want the description to be i'm just gonna set it as the rock description right here like so and i'm gonna fill this out completely and then that's all we're gonna have for our embed now we're gonna have an if statement because not all of the actual rocks inside of it have an image. So we can run an if statement saying if not rock underscore image equals none, then we can do em dot set image and URL can equal to rock image. Really simple. And then all we're gonna do in the end is await ctx.send embed equals em which is just the embed and that's it that's all you need you can add a color to this whatever you like you can customize it however you want but this is just the basic and bare bones i guess rock so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop into my discord which link down below in the description you should actually join right here and we're actually gonna test this out so here we go we can just run or actually the bot's not even on so now the bot's actually on you can see here and if i run a help command you'll see we have one one actual i guess command so we can just do rock and that's it um kind of sus but yeah it gives you a picture of a rock and then we can do this again and that's just a test one that they have another one and it has a bunch of rocks and it, i even have my own rock this is it it's my profile picture right now and so yeah whatever you want it has a bunch of rocks and if you join my server you might actually even go to get your own rock i know a couple of them did actually get their own rock which is pretty cool see this person lex he's on my discord server and in another discord server that i know the coding realm he has his own rock and all of that so it's pretty epic and yeah, I also suggest you add a cooldown just so the API isn't rate limited and you can get banned for it, banned from the API itself, and a bunch of other things. So I suggest a cooldown of 5 seconds or more, at least 5 just so the API isn't rate limited and you don't get banned. So that's it for today's video. I hope you learned something new and you can implement all sorts of APIs if you want an anime hug one, if you want, I don't know, all sorts of them. If you want to do another API that you have in mind, you could use yeah, your HTTP for it. Anyways, till next time, glow stick out. See ya!